Welcome to the Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got another compilation video today of uh, women in their 50s hitting the wall and still trying to uh, climb, crawl, dig. I don't know, trying to get over that wall somehow, but you know, the wall's undefeated. So please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And let's get to the chow. It's chow time. Number one, a man that says you're too much. God bless him. Let him go find less. Number yes, two, please, let us some know. men will just freaking text you forever. Tell him I'm not looking for a text buddy. Hard no. <laughs> Number three, inconsistent behavior. Mm. No, thank you. That's a fuck no. It's funny. These are all uh, the same things that young women or <laughs> young feminist women uh, seem to complain about. And uh, she's still complaining about the same things in her 50s. And number four, never, ever settle for bad behavior. It only gets worse. Number five, ghosting is a gift. Better now than six months from now. That's how men feel Go sometimes. find your man, Neville Shadow. He's out there. <laughs> Here are the top five. Welcome. Voice activation required. Thor. Access denied. Uh, Thor, son of Odin. Access denied. God of Thunder. Access denied. Strongest Avenger. Access you know that's denied. the Hulk. Strongest Avenger. Access denied. You said. Um, you what? Start. I said the Hulk. Point break. Welcome. Point break. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. That's all you qualify for is a dog. Hi, everyone. Here is part one of dating in your 50s. So it's probably one of the most difficult things. I is think it? Going. Dating in your 50s on these, you know, dating sites and apps is like trying to figure out the friggin' Rubik's Cube from the 80s. It's impossible. It's impossible and it's frustrating. And I just want to take the phone and slam it up against the wall. I mean, you'll get plenty of young, um, young guys for hitting you up. I, I don't get it. I don't understand um, why it's so hard to find somebody. Is it that everybody's completely broken? I, you know, I don't want to go on a date and hear about, you know, three hours of why your your wife left you or why you left your wife. No. Exact same thing why men don't want to hear about your exes and uh, how narcissistic and uh, terrible they are. No. You know, ask me some questions. People sit there and they say nothing. How could you not have anything to say? I'm meeting you for the first time and you've got nothing. I hear crickets. You should have 10 million questions to ask. It's because they're not interested. Right off the, uh, off the bat. Done. Bye-bye. See you later. Now, I'm an independent woman. Mm -hmm. I own my own business. Mm -hmm. I work hard. Go um, on. I like to do fun things. Um, you know, I like kayaking. I like boating. I like to go paintballing. Um, okay. I've gone hatchet throwing. I've done Spartan races. You know, I had a guy tell me once that Didn't because I did any those of that things stuff. that I participated in extremely violent extracurricular activities. Are you serious? Are yeah, you serious? Yeah, so you can meet men. Like, and what do you do for fun? I'll tell you what he did. He collected autographs. Collected autographs. Nothing wrong with that. However, do not tell me that because I like to be active and do fun things, that those are extremely violent extracurricular activities. All right. So you know what? All I'm saying is I am taping, taking applications. Taking applications now. If you are single, if you're in the New Jersey area, and you like to Start do fun applying, things, man. let me know. She's a good catch. Let she has her own business. all at, because they're certainly not on the dating apps, which I'm done with and deleting. All right. Have a great day. And she does paintballing in those extreme sports. Mm-mm. -hmm. And then like it's like right, it's like right, like you know. You but know? like, but at the same time, I don't know because then it's sometimes it's like, <laughs> like I, I like you know, like you go and then and then but like, and then like. Yeah, it's like that when you date younger guys in your fifties. <laughs> That's exactly how they are. <laughs> so another date update because they're always fun. Went on a date. Mm -hmm. uh, met him online, of course. Um, when he showed up, he looked just like his picture. They were Ooh. recent pictures, so I was surprised. You guys know how I hate that. Uh, we had good conversation. We are there a couple hours, just met for a drink, sat and talked. Um, afterwards, he walked me to my car. 
Um, and then, uh, gave me a little kiss goodnight, nothing, you know, more than PG rated. Um, <laughs> and that was it. Like it was a good day. Uh, no sex talk, no groping, no like weird conversations about what? none of that on the first date. It's a shitty first date. Out <laughs> five years into the future. Um, so I don't know why that is such a surprise, but for these days it is. So we'll see if there's a second date. I hope so, because it was you fun. Do. We'll see. I don't really have a dating update with the inner guy, but he did text me last night and uh -huh. said that he had purchased a Powerball ticket for the drawing last night. So it's possible I'm dating a billionaire. We'll see. I know this is like joking and stuff, but it's still pretty cringe. <laughs> Headed to hit the wall because Commodore said I'm under the, uh, undesirable over 50. Yeah, you should be heading that way. I don't think you're heading to hit the wall. You already hit the wall pretty hard. Here's another mean comment about hitting the wall. I received an earlier comment about being a post-wall woman. According to the Urban Dictionary, a post-wall woman is a woman who's aged past her fertility window and is no longer attractive. It's as if she hit a wall. If you Google post-wall women, it also talks about women in their 30s who have hit the wall and they no longer can rely on their looks to get what they want, such as talking their way out of a speeding ticket, and they don't have men hitting on them as much. Being called a post-wall woman or hitting the wall doesn't bother me because I'm sure that this person is very superficial and this person is probably a lot younger. Do you not think what you just said were facts? Do you not think when you're older, you lose attractiveness to men? You get a less like pretty privilege? Like, those are facts. Why do you think he's like... <laughs> I think that older men have more to offer to older women and older women have more to offer to older men. I know that I have so much more to offer at 50 than I No. No. The things that you're offering nobody wants. I did when I was in my 20s. So there. Here's another mean comment. Yeah, the baby is a huge one. So look, there is a negative phrase that is going out. Um, and it's usually used by men. This person is pretty much the epitome of the women that seem to comment the most about I shouldn't be using the wall or I mean, women tell me like I need to stop using this on my channel. This is my channel for men. You telling me I need to do something on my own platform. That's kind of ridiculous, you know, <laughs> so. Yeah, this is just most women are about in her shoes that always seem to want to comment about the wall. As a rebuttal to something that we said that they didn't like in regards to dating or the the way that the current dating situation is and how men act nowadays. So they hit you with this in order to hurt your feelings. And that phrase is that you have hit the wall. At first, I didn't understand what that meant until a gentleman was kind enough to explain it to me. It just means that I am no longer desirable because I have I've reached a certain age. And I'm so she says she says it as if it gets her her full self. No, it's just sexually and to men, you're not desirable. We're not putting down the value of you as a person. We're only putting down the value you have to other men. A man doesn't see a future with me like that. I had to really think about it because I'm like, what? Wait, wait a minute. I had to really think about it because on some aspects, it's truthful. Now, yeah. if you're a dude and you have not procreated yet, you're still looking for some offspring. You're looking for a woman to be at home barefoot and pregnant. I have hit the wall, sir. I'm not no longer in the market to give up Make any sure children it. the factory is now closed and i will gladly accept the title of hitting the wall okay but in regards to quality being able to be selected based on the fact of what i bring to the table and i'm not talking 
You bring nothing to the table. About financial men don't look at all that kind of stuff. I know who I am as a woman and I know how I can make my man's life easier. Right. I know I haven't hit the wall for that. You're in your 50s and you say you're that good in taking care of men and getting them what they want and need. Yet you're still single in your 50s. I highly doubt you really have the formula to keep men happy. And I get offers every day and I'm being 100 percent transparent with you that I am approached by both young and old alike. Offer for dick or offer for marriage? And some will say, well, you know, yeah, so somebody will approach you to have sex with you, but nobody's trying to take you serious. Do you Correct. know how many, how many relationships I have turned down this year? Because I have been through some shit. Yeah, because you don't want the simps. Just like you when you were young. You still want the alpha. You still want the Chad. You still want the guy that's like top tier. That's why uh, all these guys that come and want to give you relationships and all that stuff, you give them, don't, don't give them the time of day. I realize what it's going to take for me to be in a relationship and be happy. I am no longer settling because you're a good guy. <laughs> We're all good. In her 50s, she's no longer settling, men. <laughs> And they wonder why we say die alone, get a dog and die alone. This is, we're not saying it to trash women. We don't just straight up tell women that right off the bat. No, when we tell them and they speak on issues like this and the way they're speaking, they're not going to find anybody. They haven't changed. They're not going to change. And uh, yeah, so they're going to be dying alone. Best to get a dog people in our own ways right but it doesn't mean that you are a good person or a good fit for the person that you happen to want so i'm no longer caring if somebody tells me that i have hit the wall who cares because there's somebody you do you made a whole video about it in my age range who is on the same level that i'm on who wants to do the things that I want to do. And they won't consider me as being hit the wall. In fact, they will let me know that I have broken right through that bitch. And that's it. <laughs> and women on my comments wonder why we say what we say. Look how delusional she is in her fifties, not willing to settle and look at, her attitude towards everything she thinks she deserves everything she thinks she's gonna find a man that says oh you broke through the wall you're the hottest piece of ass i've ever met in my life in your 50s good luck lady good luck so i'm here with my fellow cougar nancy we're both over 50 actually we're both over 60 now, Karen, you don't need to tell the whole world that. Oh, shit. Why not? You don't want that exactly it. We're... I don't think you need to tell the whole world. We can just tell by looking at you, ladies. Just just saying. Proud to be over 60. Uh -huh. And you know what we found? What did we find out about younger guys? That they like older women. That's damn straight. And... You barely found that out in your 60s? What the fuck have you been doing in your 40s and 50s? <laughs> Why do they like older women? Because older women have a security and a confidence in them that younger women don't have yet. Or when they're younger, they have this pedestal vision of MILFs and mothers and women that are older when they're younger. And as they get older, they lose it. I am actually an example of that. I loved MILFs during the American Pie era, and uh, older women when I was younger. I, I dated a lot of older women when I was younger. Now that I'm older myself, I'm not as attracted to women of my age or older anymore. I'm actually attracted to younger women, so. But for them to barely figure this stuff out now, it's a, uh, woo. That's right, and what can we offer them as older women? We can offer them that confidence and that security and no games relationship right and how about teaching them yeah just straight up ass whenever we want and uh 
nothing else that we don't need. Older women are the greatest thing about that. At least when I was younger, yeah. Didn't have to worry about a lot of things. It was just they called me over, had a good time. That was about it. They paid for a lot of things too. So it's a lot of perks for being a, a young man that's good looking and not dating <laughs> cougars. New things. Ooh, they like that. Why do you think older women are qualified to teach new things? Because they've experienced a lot. <laughs> You aren't wrong, ladies, but that is the reason why older men and men of your age don't want to date you or marry you. Younger men don't care. They're not there to marry you. They're there to have fun, so might as well have fun with someone that's experienced. They have the knowledge. Are you speaking from your own experience? I certainly am. Me too. I don't know. They're like bragging about like these this. things or what? You just have to follow me, and I'm going to connect you with this fellow cougar right here. Her name is Nancy. Damn, so she's <laughs> They're using this TikTok video to try to get Nancy a date right now. Like, god damn. Atkinson. Bye. So I'm here with my fellow cougar. <laughs> Nancy Cougar. How was that chow? I know it was a lot of leftovers, but you know, someone's gotta eat it sometimes, right? We can't throw it all away. <laughs> I just love that women, you know, love to say, oh, this negative term that's going around that hits, you know, like, let's hurt women's feelings. What about you calling us d dusty, broke, we ain't, we ain't shit, you know, all men should die, all that stuff. Men just stick that shit on the chin. As soon as we say some truth, uh, you know, when you get older. You might not look as attractive as you are, and you might not get the same pretty privilege as you have been. Oh, fuck you. You're the piece of shit. Everybody, all men are fucking shit because, you know, they're trying to fucking, you know, dog women, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm sorry. We told you the truth. <laughs> Please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. It's Chow Time.